Hey guys, this is All Things Disney, and today I'll be showing you how to create this cute, stackable little Tsum Tsum Tidbit charms. And I've gotten requests to make these, so I decided to. And this one is Olaf, and you can stack them. See, I have two here, and they look like this. They're orig original designs, and I hope to make more characters like this in the future. Um, but they look like this. This really, it is quite complicated, but I think you'll get the hang of it. So it's a little complicated. Um, and this is based after the Tsum Tsum Olaf from the Frozen collection. Looks like that. But either way, let's start with the supplies you'll need to create him. So to make your little Olaf, you're gonna make you're going to need the supplies that are following. So you'll need one rainbow loom set up in the staggered configuration with the red arrow facing down or towards you, one rainbow loom hook and I recommend the metal tipped hook especially for this one because he is a little complicated one ra one not rainbow loop one scissor or pair of scissors just to trim his little hairs at the end then you'll be needing three of your orange bands I'm using the Michaels neon ones then you'll need eight of your brown bands I'm using the cocoa ones lots of your white bands and I didn't have an exact count for these but you will be needing a lot so make sure you have enough um, because you don't want to start this and then end it when you're out of band. So make sure you have enough whites to do this. So just know that you'll need quite a few. And by quite a few, I mean a lot. And then you'll need two bra black bands for the eyes. So now you can grab your supplies and we'll get started. So the first part of this we're going to do on the loom. And then we have the more complicated part. But this part is pretty easy. So we're going to start with one white band and go down from the top center peg to the one underneath it. Like that. Then take double white bands and go diagonally from the center to the left side, like that. Then take double again, go to the right side. And then we're going to take double and go down once on each side and twice in the center. like that and then once more in the center then we're going to go diagonally in from the left side to the center and then from the right side to the center these are all double white bands then we're going to make our eyes so you're going to take your two black bands take one of them and twist around the tip of your hook three times creating four loops and then do the same with the other one like that. Then take one white band, place it on the tip of your hook, pull through all the loops for the eyes, then stretch this band from the left peg down from the third peg on the left side. So the third peg down from the top to the third peg down from the top on the right side. Then separate the eyes and then go in with your hook and grab the bottom, not bottom, top part of the band and bring it up to the center. Then we're going to add on his little feet, so you're going to take your first three of your brown bands. So take your three, take the first one, twist it around the tip of your hook two times creating three loops. Then take double, place them on the tip of your hook and pull through the loops and then bring both ends back over. Then we're going to take this off onto your fingers and place it down on the third peg down from the top on the left side, right on top of the eyes. Then we're going to take our next three, take the first one and twist around the tip of your hook twice, creating three loops, then take double, place them on the tip of your hook and pull through the loops like that, and then bring both ends back over, and then take this into your fingers and place it down on the opposite side. Then we're going to take one more white band, twist it around the bottom peg two times, creating three loops. So that'll be a cap band in the center, like that. Then we're going to make pretty much another head shape, but without all the details. So take another single band, go from the left side diagonally into the center. Then take double bands and go diagonally from the center to the left side. Then go diagonally from the center to the right side, still using double bands. Then go down once on each side and twice in the center. Pretty much the same thing we just did. 
with the face. So this is pretty much another face, but this will create the middle portion of his body. Like that, and then go diagonally in from the left side to the center. Then from the right side to the center. Then we're going to make a triangle with a single band to hold him together and then take another single band and create a cap band by twisting around the center bottom peg two times creating three loops like that then we're going to do the same thing for the next one so I'm just going to make it I'm going to do go do that by myself so that it doesn't take up too much time but we're going to do this one again so I'm going to go do that so then you should have your next circle looking like this and they're all double bands just so you know except for this first band the triangle band and the cap band. So those two middle ones are the same, so I just wanted to get those over with. Then our last circle will be a little different again. So we're going to take one white band and go from the left side to the center, then take double. Make sure you're, you're not touching any of the previous circles. They all have a space in between. But don't leave too much space or you'll run out of space on your loom. So then go diagonally with double to the right side. Then go down twice in the center. And once on each side. Like that. Then take double white bands and go diagonally from the side in. So that's on the left and then the same for the right. Then taking single bands, take one and make a triangle. And then take one and make a cap band, twisting around on the bottom peg, two times creating three loops. So it's pretty much the same. Actually, I'm sorry, I forgot that we were doing the legs on this one. So take off that triangle band. You can leave the cap band. We're just going to make our legs now. So here we're going to take out your hook. Take one white band and twist around the tip of your hook twice, creating three loops. Then take double white bands, place them on the tip of your hook, pull through the loops, bring both ends back over. Then take this off onto your fingers and place it down on the second peg, down from the top. If you count, starting with this diagonal, go one, two, and then you place it down. Then we're going to do the same with the other leg. So take one band, twist around twice, creating three loops. Then take double bands, place them on the tip of your hook, pull through the loops, bring both ends over, and then place them onto your fingers and down on that opposite side. Then we can replace our triangle band. Like that. So now we have all of our little like circle shapes. So now we're going to start at the bottom with your hook and go under the cap band, grab only the bottom two bands, not bottom, top two bands and bring them up to the side where they go, then grab the next two and bring them diagonally to the side where they go, then grab the last two and bring them up. Like that, then grab the next two, bring those up as well. Then on each side, go under everything and just grab the bottom two. And then grab the bottom two again and bring them up and in. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Like that. Then we're going to go under and grab that last single band and bring it off to the side. Then we're just going to tie this off. So take the bottom part of the band, bring it up and over the peg, and then pull on it to tighten it. Then you can just replace it and we're going to do the hooking process again. So here, go under, grab the top two only. Bring them to the side, grab the next two, 
bring them to the side, and then we just do the same process again. So I went and finished that by myself. Um, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you know how to hook it up. So we do the center first and then the sides. Just making sure you know, like that. So it's pretty much the same as this, just we don't have the legs to worry about. Then go in, grab the bottom part of the band, bring it up and to the side. Then go from the bottom, bring it up and over and pull on it. Then we're going to do the same again, so I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to go finish that myself. And I don't like leaving you to do it yourself, but this is a pretty tricky thing, and I want to make sure that I can show you in more detail later on when we're doing the tricky part. So I'm just going to go do that now. So now I just did this circle, and then here I'm going to do this with you guys so that you can see because it's a little different. So here we're going to go under the cap band to grab the top two and bring them to the side, then go and grab the next two and bring them to the side, but then before we hook up the last two, we're going to add on our nose first. So take your nose bands, take your first one, twist around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops, then take the double, first double them over once in your fingers so that they're tighter, then just place them on the tip of your hook and pull on all the loops. like that, and then bring both ends back over, then just leave them on your hook, and then go under, grab the bottom two, but before placing them down, we're just going to slide on our orange loops, and then place them down, like that. Then we're going to go under and grab the next two, and bring them up. And then on each side, we're just going to do the same thing we did before. So I went and did that as well. And I just hooked it up and the slip knot, instead of going to the side, this one's just going up. And then you just tie it like normal. So now you will have your loom looking like this. Like that. And then we can just take them all off using your hook. So just... We're just going to do that. So now I have my first part, and there's the second part. Here's the third part. And finally we have the last part, so now I'm just going to move my loom over and we have four parts of Tsum Tsum, our little Tsum Tsum um, Olaf, and I forgot what we were making for a second. And then you just want to make sure your slip um, slip knot bands are good and hidden, not good and hidden, good and tight on all of them. And then you can turn to either side and just go through with your hook and pull them through as many times as you need to, so that they're well hidden and out of sight. So I'm starting with this middle one, which the middle ones you can turn to either side. It doesn't matter for to hide them, whichever side you don't like, and then the same with the other side because both sides are the same, but on this side, I'm on the, the head part, we're going to turn to the back side and then hide it. So I'm just going to go hide all those and I'll be back. So here it's going to get a little more tricky. Um, so we have our four parts of Olaf. Now before we start, com not really combining, uh, and there goes my hook on the floor. Either way, before we start connecting them all, um, which we will do, we just, you're going to make sure, just that you understand, we have six sides all together, so we have one, two, three, and then one, two, three, so that's not including the middle, we have six ends, loops, then we have one cap band, so just make sure you know that, that all of them have six, no matter what, because we're going to be needing those, so there are seven total actually, including the cap band, because when we're combining them, we're going to be look, looping them all together through the hook, and then looping bands through them so that they're all connected, so it looks more 3D, like a actual Tsum Tsum, and then it'll look like that. So just making sure you understand what we will be doing now. So then you can start, so we're going to start with the head. You're going to go through 
the cap band with your hook with the nose facing downward and then take your next part which is one of the middle parts place it the cap band through take your next middle part place your cap band through take your last part and you want to make sure the slip knot side is facing in and then place your cap band there so we will be combining all of these so now we're going to take so this is our first loop take your first band pull it through all the cap bands of all of the parts like that. Then hold on to this end, the end on your hook, you're just going to move down and then go through our second part. So that will be the second side or corner on all of them. So go through them. You can ignore the hands or feet on the end parts. Just go through all of those bands. So this is number two. and then bring this top part over. So the top part you were holding on with your finger, just place it over. Then take your next band, place it on the tip of your hook, and pull it through. Pull it through all of these bands. And then you again, you have these two parts. So then we're gonna go through our next loops on all of them, which would be our third part. So there will be four loops to grab on each of them. Like that. So then we're going to take our next band, place it on the tip of your hook, pull through, all the loops be nice and careful because this is tricky like that and then again we're going to do our next one and I let go of that end, so I'm just going to reclaim it. So this will be our next one. Go through all those, which is our first, fourth looping. Then place your band down. Then you would take your next white band and pull it through all of those like that. So now I'm just going to go finish all of the seven ends and I'll show you how to end it. So if you need more help just watch what I did before so I'm going to go finish that now. So now I am up to my last one and I've gone in a clockwise direction and you can see I'm ending on the right side and we're not doing these cap bands that your last set will be right here next to the cap bands. So if you're looking at it from the under area it would be on the left side of the cap bands that you can see here so you're just going to loop all your bands through there and then you take your next band and pull it through and I'll show you what to do next so now I just pulled it through and it should look like this then we're just going to leave them like this for now I'm going to grab another white band and then just taking this first side only I'm going to place it down and then pull it through Bring it over and tie a slip knot. Then on this side, taking that other end, I'm going to take another white band, pull it through, bring it over and tie a slip knot like that. So now it's more secure. So now we have our little Olaf, and he's completely binded now. So now all we're going to do is go from any area and just go through with your hook and then pull through those bands and just hide them. So you can go from the bottom, you can go from the top, just anywhere, so that you can grab your band and pull it through. And then any other random bands that might be sticking out that may have popped out during the process, you can go back and hide those as well. So I just went back and hid all my bands that I needed to hide. 
Um, but he's not Olaf without his little twig hair, so we're just going to do, do that now. So you're done, except for this, of course, but you're done with all the hard part. So congratulate yourself. You can pat yourself on the bat, back um, because we got through this. But um, so he looks like this now, and we're just going to go in with your hook, go to the top center, just go through some bands and grab one brown band, pull it through and bring it over and then tie a slip knot. Then somewhere near it, take your other brown band, pull it through, bring it over and then tie a slip knot as well. And then you can just take out your scissors. And mine are off to the side. So I'm bringing them to the center and then you can just Take your scissors and cut them in half, and then, of course, this is way too wacky for Olaf, so you're going to just trim those to your desired length, like that, and then you can get rid of your brown scraps, and you have your little hairs on your Olaf, and I kind of stretched my head out, so I'm just going to try and put that back, but either way, He's really cute, he's tricky, but I think he comes out definitely worth it. I hope to make some more of these tidbit, tid, uh, tidbit inspired Tsum Tsums in the future. Here are all three of my Olafs. They're really cute, they stack, you can make a little pyramid if you really wanted to. Um, I hope to make more characters so that you can make a pyramid if you want. I, um, and I will still be doing normal 2D tidbits as well, but I also want to expand and do these. So, if you do make these, you can show me them on Instagram. Details down below on where to find me on Instagram. But either way, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!